Good afternoon, class. It's good to see you again. As you can see behind me, I have three new letters that we're going to use to form three new words today. What are these new letters? Let's take a look. The first new letter right here is F as in Frank. The next letter is R as in rainbow. And the third letter is B as in boy. Now, as you can see here, I have two lines next to each new letter. That means what class? That two letters are missing. Based on the homework that you did, can you tell me what those two letters are? They are the same two letters for each new word here. The same two letters that are missing by the letter F are also the same two letters that are missing by the letter R as well as the same two letters that are missing by the letter B. Pause the video if you need to and refer to your previous homework so that you can tell me what those two new what those two letters are that are missing so that we can form these three new words. Okay, you got it? I knew you could do it. Those two letters that are missing are the letters A as in apple and T as in Tom. That's right. So let's write those in for the first letter F. That's the letter A as in apple and T as in Tom to make the word, let's sound this out together class, F, A, T, F, A, T, F, A, T, F, A, T, very good, F, A, T, okay, and so these two same letters, letters A as in apple and T as in Tom, should also go here where these two lines are. And you should also be writing this on a piece of paper, just as I have it here. Whenever I put something on the board, I expect for you to write it down as well on a sheet of paper so that you can create a notebook of everything that we review in class. And also have a notebook for your homework assignments so that you can stay organized and so that you can use this information to refer to when you need to review again in case you forget something so that you won't forget. Okay, so let's write the letters A and T by our new letter R here, okay? Okay, so let's sound this out, class. Ra-at. Ra-at. Rat. 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 Now let's also write those same two letters, A and T, by our new letter here, B as in boy. B -a -t. Sound this out with me. B -a -t. B -a -t. B -a -t. And what's that word, class? Bat. Very good. So our th three new words are bat, 
rat and bat. Now let's use those three new words in a sentence. Based on your last homework assignment, can you think of three new ways that we can write a sentence to use our three new words in? Fat, bat, and rat? Let me give you a moment to think. Mm, I think I know of a sentence. How about this? The fat cat sat. The fat cat sat. Write that sentence on a piece of paper. I want to see if you can do this on your own. How could you use the word bat in a sentence? I know. How about the cat sat on a bat? The cat sat on a bat. How can we use the word rat in a sentence? Let me think a moment. Mm, I know. How about the cat sat on a rat? The cat sat on a rat. Please write that sentence on your paper as well. Pause this video and you may need to rewind the video so that you can remember which sentences that I would like for you to write. And after you write your three new sentences, then press play to see how each sentence should look. Are you done writing your three new sentences? Good. Guess what I have behind me? The three new sentences. Let's sound these sentences out, class. The fat cat sat. One more time. The fat cat. The fat cat sat. Now let's say our next sentence. Sound out these words with me. The cat sat on a The cat sat on a rat. You're doing a wonderful job. And now let's sound out the last sentence together, class. The cat sat on a bat. One more time. The cat sat on a bat. The cat sat on a bat. Very good. And you can use the words that we learned in the last homework to make new sentences that also include the three new words that we learned today. And what are those three words, class? Fat, rat, and bat.
I had such a wonderful time with you today, and I hope you did too, class. Tonight's homework will be a pretty long one. What I want you to do is to go to my WordPress website, which you will see at the end of this video as well as in the description box. Click on the My PDF Homework tab and you will be writing sentences, you will be tracing the sentences that include the words that we learned from our last homework assignment from the last video as well as tracing over the sentences that will include the three new words that we learned from this video. What I want you to do in addition to that, in addition to tracing the sentences, is to also take out a sheet of paper that you will add to your notebook of homework assignments and just write out the sentences on your own. You've been tracing the sentences for a little while now, so I want you to continue to trace over the sentences that I have on my WordPress website, but I also want you to practice writing the sentences, reading the sentences, and sounding them out on your own. This will give you additional practice, and this will help you to feel more confident about writing the words on your own, about sounding them out on your own, and just having more of an in-depth understanding of what you are learning. By the way, if you like my earrings, these are called my rosebud earrings. I hope you can see them. Yes, these are for sale on my Etsy website. I have a, a good picture there so that you can see them more clearly. Uh, this camera does not show the true color of the earrings as well as I would like for them to. So my URL for my Etsy shop is in the description box as well. And share this video with someone who you know does not know how to read or write or with someone's child who might be struggling share this with their parents. I definitely want to get more people watching because I feel that what I am teaching is something that will stay with someone throughout their life because a person will truly be at his loss if that individual does not learn how to read and write. This is so very important. I thank you for watching. See you next time.